Oh my god. This is a lot better when we came out here. And it was just us. Yeah. And the full moon. It's officially a tourist trap. So the last time we were here, this road did not exist because they built this road when the lava was going towards Pahoa and this was going to be like the only exit for the people who live over here, right? So last time we were here we had to hike for three and a half miles across this lava, which is pretty much like this terrain. I wouldn't have done it. I would never do it again. Yeah, we were like, lucky. If it wasn't for the full moon, I surprised. I know. We were pleasantly surprised with the full moon. I don't know. We were crazy in love, though. I'd just gotten back to the island. I remember just, like, hoping the whole time that my legs didn't get burnt to little stumps. I mean, I remember standing on that lava, and, like, you could see... You could see like the black crust, right? And then you could see it like glowing and moving underneath the black crust. Like you see all these fibers? Like sometimes they blow in the wind and they get all caught on, I don't know, the tree or something like that? Like a whole bunch of it? And they call it Taylor's hair. It's hot. Super hot. You can't put your hand on it for more than a couple seconds. Oh. Oh. Do it again. Ah. That's really hot. You try it. God, it's like a war zone. Careful, babe. It's gonna melt your shoes.
Standing on what looks like firm lava. It's hot. See down in there. It's still molten. Check out this picture. Dad, why do you keep doing this? Awesome. <laughs> You're gonna see it on my G. Everybody has pimples. No, not everybody. Giselle doesn't have 